In this video, we're going to go over how to change or adjust your uh, recording schedules on your WatchNet NVR DVR system. It may be a good practice to go through if you're looking to extend how many recordings that you have, get the uh, most bang out of your buck for your uh, current hard drive situation. So we're going to use the WatchNet Multi-Site Manager tool. We're going to go into the device configure. And then we're going to select the NVR that we're looking for and storage and schedule. Now this is your weekly calendar here. It's got your 24-7 uh, uh, recording. We're going to hit the chain link in order to make changes to all the days. So we've got green being 24-7 recording. In this case it is currently activated. If we uh, erase it, it's now just set strictly to yellow being motion detection. Now this may be an ideal schedule for things like an indoor camera where there's really no sense to record hallways and that kind of thing when there's no activity there. Uh, but it will record when it does detect motion. So uh, outdoor cameras, good idea to probably have 24-7 recording on there because you just, you just don't know. Um, you know, an outdoor camera, there's just a lot of things happening and the cameras are further back and that kind of thing. So, um, if uh, so, if if you do have some indoor cameras, um, and you're okay with just the motion recording, I would just erase the 24/7, and then down here where it says Copy Configuration Two, you can select and just choose the cameras that you uh, want to have this applied to. Now I would apply this to not only the motion only detection uh, cameras. But as you can see in this case, this is an 8-channel NVR. If we only have 5 cameras, then we don't need 24-7 recording on cha on channels 6, 7, and 8. Because that's going to chew up uh, hard drive space if it's recording. Even if it's just recording black, it's still recording. So what you could do is just select those three because you know that there's no cameras there. And then maybe these two are our other indoor cameras. And then we can hit apply, and this schedule would copy directly to that. Um, the next thing that you'd want to adjust, is especially like, well, basically, if you're using the application for notifications, is go to your snapshot schedule here, and just copy the same thing that you just did. Um, again, the snapshot is used for if you're getting push notifications on the device or something like that. Okay, so once you've finished your uh, putting in your schedules and you've saved it, the next step is to actually make sure that um, motion detection is turned on. So we're going to do that by going into the event and video detect. So any camera, especially if it's only on motion detection, you're going to want to uh, check out and make sure we've got the following configuration. That it's turned on, that it's recording that channel, um, and that the snapshot is turned on, especially again for that uh, push notifications. It won't work if this isn't turned on. So if you do that, then you can simply copy this configuration. I'd probably just copy it to all channels and, uh, and save that. The next step is going to be going through the different cameras and the zones to make sure that you've actually got um, an area painted. By default, it should be the whole thing. So if we go like this, it, it should look like this. But if it's all if it's all white, um, it's not actually going to be looking for any type of motion. So that's a that's a bad thing. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to just kind of paint um, maybe around like some areas of interest, like like our vehicles. And uh, so we have a vehicle that parks there. Maybe we want to catch someone if they're trying to, you know, break into the car or whatever the case is. <clears throat> okay. Um, I would probably limit it to areas uh, of major importance, but if it is an indoor camera in the hallway, something like that, the whole area should be fine. So uh, then we have our options over here for sensitivity and threshold. Sensitivity being how sensitive is it uh, going to be, like the motion, and threshold, 
how how big of an object is it going to be before it uh, considers it, you know? So like, you're trying to tweak this to avoid things like rain droplets and that kind of thing. You don't want that to be triggering these things like crazy. So you may have to adjust these things, and uh, every situation is different. So you, you may have to come in here and, and play around with this um, over the course of several days of, of checking to see if, if it's actually getting the type of motion you're looking for. Okay, so we would just do that, and then you'd hit your save, um, and just you know hit apply, and then one by one just go through your channels and make sure that uh, that your zones are are set up because. You don't want to have your motion-only cameras not actually recording anything if you haven't set up your zones or turned them on. Once you've done that, then you should be in good shape. Uh, you should have the maximum uh, potential of your hard drive. Outside of that, upgrading the hard drive to a bigger one will be an excellent way to increase how far back uh, you can look. Alright, so that is this tutorial. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next.